Hello, my friends. This is Angelica Flores. This is my my stage name, okay? Um, I'm going to be sharing lots of things with you. And so I'm kind of like sharing with you some things on the counter that are current that I am already doing. It's just time that I start sh sharing things. For 30 years and more, I've been into holistic. Um, and I've sort of like backslidden as well. Because I'm human, right? <laughs> so I forget. I come back to my holistic stuff. And um, now we're in the prepping era, right? So what do we see here? I'm making, I'm making a bucket of wine. Okay, as you can see, this is leveled. It's, it's, it's just getting started. So it starts off this way. When it starts bubbling, which I have to figure out, you're going to learn along with me. I don't know why it's not bubbling yet. I just put in the yeast. I think I forgot to stir it, okay? So where's the yeast? I made yeast out of the same grapes a while ago. So I saved my bottles. I I, I wish I never would have thrown out a lot of bottles I did because I thought I was moving. But anyway, in this bottle I made yeast so I could either use it to make bread or make wine. So I just used a tablespoon, the large one over here, this large one over here, uh, of of my fermented wine, um, you could actually, um, you just make yeast and basically it turned into wine because it was out of grapes, okay? What I did was, let's see if I could get that. Okay, let me just show you a little bit of the process. This is just an intro, folks. Don't worry. So now what happened here, I put some grapes in here. And um, I put the balloon instead of the cap. I had the balloon in here. When it turned solid, like full, not 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 like overly full, but like it was standing up, like an erection kind of thing. Sorry. It was erecting. Um, so then I popped a couple of holes, and then it still had air. Air was coming out through those two holes. And, um, but no air was coming in. Okay? So I took my time with that days even over a week and finally just used it for my wine now what did i do with this i took a bunch of grapes i i put it in a blender bigger than, bigger than this okay and i strained it with cheesecloth which is this this is the evidence see how it's per turned to colors okay i strained it and then i put the liquid in here i i I put this much liquid with sugar, okay? I used uh, purified water, boiled the water, put the sugar so it could melt in it, then I poured the juice in here. And so I just put the cap just now. This is the way it's supposed to start. So I'm so I probably have to stir uh, the yeast that I just put in it. I do have yeast anyway, uh, in case this is not good enough. So I'm learning with you. As you can see, at least this is the, the starting point right here, okay? All right. What else, what other projects am I doing? This over here, I'm going to be sharing with you clips from a scientist who turned MMS to, I think it's C, C, CCD, something like that. I'm going to be sharing th this with you and it's going to be more specific. I made this myself. Now, you got to have a doctor's license and uh, FDA approved stuff to be able to say certain things. Okay. But I will say that I take this for me. This is a form of sort of like Clorox for the human body. Uh, and what I did was I removed the acid in it so it could be tolerable. Back in 2011, I tried it, but I didn't know how to remove the acid. In fact, it wasn't probably known out there how to do it. And so all that acid in your stomach, you go to the bathroom, you have to have the toilet like right by your bed. And it's, it's really, really difficult, okay, to, to do that process. And that process, some people have done it to cure cancer, blood disease, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, I'm not saying that mine does. Okay, I'm not going to get myself in trouble here. But I like to try things that I feel might work. Why not, right? Okay, so what else do I have? Over here is a bucket of sugar. I decided to buy 32 pounds of sugar yesterday. So that I could do some fermentation that requires sugar. Now, some fermentations require salt, some sugar, and some um, vinegar. Okay? 
So uh, this over here requires sugar. So I went and I bought a whole bunch of sugar. Okay. And uh, we got to figure out why this is not bubbling yet because I just set it. And I'm just growing. I'm going to be growing with you. So that way you learn from my mistakes. I know I put some things over here, the gromlet and the stuff. I made a hole over here. I drilled it half an inch. Nobody ever tells you it's half an inch. Even people illustrating how to do the, use the gromlet fail to tell you what the size is. Hello. So you got to get a bit that's half an inch so you could create this hole so that this over here fits in perfectly. Okay. And then this over here is the top to this lid over here, as you can see. Okay. So I put it together. I put together my own thing. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Now, this is the first time. However, I have been doing fermenting for since 2019. It's 2022 now, June. Over here, I'm fermenting uh, sauerkraut. You can't see because I, I used a dark glass. Sorry for the poor illustration here. Dark glass is always better, as you can see. I like my dark jars, okay? This is supposed to be my yeast, homemade yeast that I made. This over here is my sauerkraut. Uh, it's hard to tell, but you could see some kraut in there. Sorry that it's so dark. This is what I use to purify my blood. And, um, what is that sound? Oh boy. And combat, you know, diseases. I also do juicing. I'm going to be sharing with you juicing uh, to, to do a cleanse. I, I did it for like six months straight, then probably paused, then another six or more than eight, six months. I'm going to start juicing today again. Okay. So this is sauerkraut. This is mixed vegetables. It has beet. That's why you can see that it's so red. It has beets. It has all kinds of peppers in there. It has um, kraut. Just a little bit of kraut just on the top to, 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 to um, protect the top of the jar. Okay. I don't have weights. I do have them, but I have them packed up someplace. Uh, you could get away without using it. Everybody uses weights, but uh, you could get away without using it. Just submerge it, the whole jar with water. Let it over, you know, kind of overflow. Be at the top where you have some stuff in the bottom. Okay. And what do I have here? Oh, over here, I'm doing rice water. I can see I don't have the lid tied up. That tight. It's kind of screwy there, I think. So I'm making rice water. I'm fermenting rice water for my hair. Okay. Uh, this is supposed to be good to remove, to, to neutralize the color, the hair color. So if you got grays, it'll neutralize it back to your natural color. But it also gives you a real, real silky, silky shine. Okay. So I've got some things here going on. Okay. And I figured I'm going to, this is going to be my intro video to my YouTube. I should have done this at least 10, 11 years ago. Um, I've been doing things like this for a long time. Reading books on, on self-healing, you know, herbs and all that stuff. And so this is just an intro of things that I'm going to go over with you. Uh, and I'm going to try to give gifts. Um, I'm going to give you some beauty secrets. I'm going to let my, my face be shown. I really don't like doing that. Um, so you could see how I look for my age. And then you're going to see if you could trust me or not. Thank you for watching. This is just an intro of things that I do. Have a great day. Bye.